back to inter intergenerational trauma. Um, did okay. you experience that at all when you were growing up? I know you talked a little. Did I experienced it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, let me see. I I would say yes, I did definitely. Um, when it pertains to like just just the generation generational anger is just the anger passed down and, and the lack of trust in whether it be in in just the uh, the opposite gender oh sorry not gender sorry race and things like that. um so things like that that i would say i would say just from um it, it, not even only from my own household but also just from what i've been presented with in my life, um where i i was just i was just shocked so let me go back. Okay, let me tell this little thing. Um, in when I was in elementary school, I think it was yeah, grade five, grade four, grade four, grade six that year. Um, the elementary school I went to was like predominantly um Caucasian and white people over there. Um, and then there's like you know there's some people of color there. Um, um, that were that were that were present and everything like that. And for 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 it was all honestly the dynamic between everybody was amazing. Like it was, it was like cohesive. It was uh, accepting and everything in between. Um, but then I remember in grade four when we were outside and then I always hanged out with, with this, with this uh, young little white boy, uh, but he was very, he was a very popular guy. He was like actually the most popular. And you know, when you're a young child, popularity is everything, okay. right? So. Everyone followed him around every single individual, whether it be females, males, everyone followed him around. And everyone liked him. And he was a fun guy, fun, uh, like, fun guy, just a fun person and a nice person. Um, but I remember me and him having it. We were just arguing about something, like it was a friendly argument. And then, next, and then I, I just truly just seen how everybody was, that was following him, for so to speak, just rallying behind him and just like honestly i was right in the situation i would say but <laughs> it didn't matter if i was right it didn't even matter it wouldn't matter if i was wrong everyone would have gone to his side and like you know um took his side and took his word for it more than my word and i just seen that strictly and people were saying Shut up, da, 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 this and that Silliness turned into a conflict he he hit me da, da, da. people started ganging up or whatever and then yeah there was a fight that broke out and from then on, I'm just like, like, nah, I'm not hanging out. I can't hang out with this guy anymore. Um, and then, but like, opposed to, there's another group. Like, I was really close to the other group. Like, but I like to. I was a very. Per, I was a person that likes to go and and mingle with everybody. It didn't matter who you were, what sh color you were, what shape you were. It doesn't even matter. I was talking to anybody and any anything even, right? But after that situation, I went to um the group of like black people and black kids and then we were just he we just all spoke in like all the, the situation that we all had with him it was the same exact situation how everyone ganged up so it was just like basically five of us versus everybody it was it was ridiculous and just from there i was looking back i was just looking back i was just like wow that was actually like an a subconscious type of uh racism and also a subconscious type of like trauma like and from there on i think that's where it started where i started saying I can't really trust people, especially especially these guys. But um, from then on, about looking, but growing older and and researching and seeing uh, and talking to other people and their experiences and and things like that, I, I've got I've gotten accustomed to doing so. And, and it's, it's truly is just the individual. Um, it's all about the individual on a one on one, not a whole mass macro on a macro scale. Like you can't just judge people on a macro. You have to do it based on individual. Um, that's where I, that's where I came from that. But um, in terms of inter intergenerational trauma, I would just say it was just anger. Um, my parents did come from uh, were immigrants that came from Nigeria and came to Canada, um, and it was just more so how they more so they were trying to say um, like things. They really told me about not trusting people and things like that, and saying and make it difficult to do so, um, just because they've gotten gone through situations where they've trusted. And then it's like it backfired essentially, right? So, so I think like that. I was, I was, I will always go take uh, tie it back and to the to the culture for inter intergenerational trauma. Yeah, like that for sure. So no, yeah. definitely. Um, 
Mm-hmm. I also got told not to trust people when I was really young. Um, for the mm-hmm. is because my parents mm-hmm. had trusted the wrong people. Um, I also, I come from a country where there is a lot of, um, a lot of discrimination towards <laughs> religious minorities or um, cultural minorities. Um, and because of that, we had to leave. And when we came here, I remember my mom telling me that we do not trust the wrong people. We do not, you have to be very careful of what you say and to who you say it to. And I honestly, till this day, that sticks with me. I am so careful of what I tell to who I tell. It's a very long time mm-hmm. for me to be open to me, for someone who's trying to get close to me, a friend, for example, to learn about me, to learn more about me, about what I've been through, about what I'm like. Because my first instinct is still, can I trust this person? Or is this person really going to attack me for whatever reason, whether it be my culture, my race, my religion, anything like that? Um, mm-hmm. So I totally, totally felt that. I feel like a lot of, a lot of people can, especially from like uh, children of immigrants, is we get told that you can't, you can't really trust. And a lot of us have mm-hmm. experiences where that has been backed up with in our childhood where you thought you could trust somebody you made a friend and it backfired you know yeah Yeah, i don't there's a lot of i feel like we have come from completely different backgrounds we have completely different um ways that we grew up Mm -hmm. but have you realized that like a lot of the things that we've been through or experiences that we've had in our own ways Uh they're the exact same If you want to hear more stories, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. To support more youth by youth-led projects, visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness. Youth Speak Performance Charity. Speak. Inspire. Change.